Can we use elastics with clear aligners? Can they be combined together? Is it useful? Well, the answers in this week's clear tip. Let's start this thing. Hello, my name is Stefan Reinhardt, Director of Education for the Clear Institute, where we entertain your clear line, your education. If you like these videos and want to support us doing more, just subscribe to this channel and give us the thumbs up and click on the bell. You will be noticed every time we have a new video uploaded. I get a lot of questions on the use of elastics with clear aligners. Is it possible to use elastics? Can we use elastics? When do we use elastics? How do we use elastics all with clear aligners? Well, the first answer is yes. Yes, you can use elastics with clear aligners. I use them all the time when I need them. And when my patients wear them, it works really well, but they need to wear them like the aligners. So how does it work? Well, the first thing in any treatment you're going to do is you need a good diagnostic. That's the first thing. Then you need a good treatment plan. You need to treatment plan your cases. And this is where you will decide if you want to treat your patient with elastics or not. Well, you need elastics. You can use elastics for uh, many different things. You can use uh, interarch elastics to, for, for class two cases, for class three cases. You could use elastics to help you distalize some tooth. You can use uh, elastics to help for the extrusion for intrusion of posterior teeth. Uh, you can use them to help in certain rotation movements. Working with elastics can, can really help in these cases. And it's really easy to, um, to, to hook for the patient. So there are basically two ways to use elastics. We will either have some, uh, some cutbacks or, or cutouts on the aligner, or we will have some hooks also on the aligner. And, uh, this is uh, to show you how it looks. Uh, those are the two different things. And it again, it comes already built in your aligner. If, if you think about putting it in your prescription. Now, if you forget, there are other ways to do it. And this, is we, this will be the next video. Um, uh, next week will be about how to um, modify these aligners if we just forgot to have these uh, cutbacks and hooks already put in the aligner. But if you put it in your prescription, a line will already build them in. And when you receive your case, when you receive all your aligners, they will already be there. So you have these uh, cutouts or cutbacks for buttons uh, that, uh, that can be used. And there's um, two ways to do it. You can either have them cut already in the aligner and when you receive your aligners when you put your attachments you could also put your buttons where you have the cutbacks the other way to do it is to bond your buttons before you take your scan therefore if you do that the, the when they do the aligner when they do the clean check when they will cut your aligners before sending them to you the, 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 cut, the cutout will already be at the right place in the right position where you already put your buttons. So it's up to you to decide. There is no, uh, there's not one way that is better than the other. Uh, you just decide what you prefer to do. Uh, if you take a scan, it's not really an issue. If you take impressions, uh, it might be more difficult to have a good impression if you already put the buttons in. Uh, it may tear out your impression or, or something like that. So in these cases, maybe if you take PVS impression, it's better to uh, take your impressions without any, any buttons and then put your buttons after. Uh, there's, you, you can also, when you go on the ClinCheck, if you use the ClinCheck Pro, you can also uh, modify the position of this cutout on either molar or cuspid or whatever, whatever tooth you decide to put them on. Now, um, uh, again, these hooks um, are there, are useful. I mainly use hooks. I prefer to use hooks than buttons because 
I have no issue with debonding of buttons, but in certain cases, let's say I have a rotation of a, uh, an upper cuspid and I want to use the force of the elastic also to use in my rotation movement, I might use buttons. Um, again, depending how you will position them on the tooth, you can, you can do intrusion, you can do extrusion, um, you can, it, it can help in distalizing when you're doing sequential distalization or distalization of a whole quadrant of teeth. Working with elastics can, can really help in these cases. And it's really easy to, um, to, to hook for the patient. Of course, they, they need to practice. They will need a couple of times, but it's the same thing as when they, um, they start with the aligner. You have to make them practice, you know, before they leave the office. Every time we make them practice, we make sure that they are able to put their aligners in and to remove their aligners properly. Uh, we don't have, we don't want to have any phone calls saying, I can't remove my aligners. I can't, they're stuck in there. I cannot remove them. You don't want that. We don't need that. There shouldn't be any uh, emergencies with clear aligners. That's one of the reasons why uh, I prefer to do aligners than to, to work with braces. Um, so we try to prevent that in the same, in the same way we're going to make them practice with the elastics. So they have to practice before they leave the office. And you want to know when they come back for their, you know, follow-up appointments. If you want to know if they really wear their elastics, ask them on the chair to put some elastics. Well, one good indication also is that, you know, if you have a patient that comes to the follow-up appointment, they're supposed to wear elastics all the time and they don't have elastics, it might be a problem there. You're coming to the appointment and you don't have your elastics. It's like coming to the appointment and not brushing your teeth before. It's like coming to the appointment and not having your aligners. Does it happen to you? It happens to me too. Of course, it's not the majority of patients because I would not do it, but it happens. So we have to know how to deal with this. One of the way to help to prevent this is again to make them practice, to explain to them the importance. I mean, if you decided to work with elastics, it's because it's probably important in your treatment. So they have to wear them. Ask them when they come to their follow-up appointments. How, no, don't ask them, did you wear your elastics? They will, they will answer yes, because that doesn't mean anything. Did you wear your elastics? Yeah, well, if I wore them yesterday, yes, I wore my elastics. Ask them how much they give themselves over, you know, between one and 10 or, or uh, zero to 100. What's, their, what, what's the, 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 the grade they would give themselves on how good they were wearing the elastics? And you will see that patients usually will tell you the truth. Oh, well, I think that uh, maybe, I will give myself 70. Then, I mean, if, if it's like that, just have a conversation with them. Explain to them how important it is. But look, look at the results. Maybe it's perfect. Maybe it's, it's going very well. Maybe it's enough. If it's enough, it's just tell them, you, you know what? It works well. It's perfect. Just... You cannot wear them less than that. Because otherwise, maybe it will not work. Now it works. We want to keep this recipe. If it doesn't work, then again, you have to explain. Most of the job we're doing, uh, once we did our diagnostic, once we did uh, our treatment plan and we, we planned everything, most of our job is to be good coaches. We have to be good coaches with our patient. We have to motivate them. And this is your job. This is your team's job. This is why we work as a team. And it, th this part is really important and clear align your success. Don't fear the elastics. I mean, they are your friends. They will help you achieving um, movements or results that otherwise would not be possible. Of course, it goes with your level of confidence. So if you don't have no idea how to use elastics, you don't even know what they are and what they're used for, uh, well, get some education first. I don't know where you could go. I have no idea. <laughs> Just look in the description below. Again, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and give us the thumbs up and click the bell. It motivates us to do more videos and to continue entertaining your education. I'm Stefan Reinhardt, Director of Education. 
program for the Clear Institute. Have fun making the move. If you're interested in clear aligners, don't miss these videos. In your case, Google thinks that the, the one on the top is the best one for you. But I think that the, the other one uh, will interest you also. And if you click here below on my friend Cece, you will subscribe to this channel.